Sign, signs everywhere, sign blocking out the scenery, breaking my mind. Do this, don't do that. Can't you read the sign? I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> Couldn't you just say hello, welcome back to Explore Tulsa? Heck no, we're going to Frederick Signs, where father and son Randy and Ryan have been making sign art a family tradition for years. That's the only way I can actually stay sane. I still do stuff even at I got a studio at my house that I I actually pin and stripe and paint and I'll do a little project. It has nothing to do with nothing, but just to show that I can still can do it. I was wanted to be a an artist first, you know, and that was my art was being an artist. And then when I realized there was more opportunity in making signs and that became my art and it was instantly I went that that was my uh, passion and it was 24 and 7 just learning how to hand letter and getting better at my craft and, and back then there were no computers or there wasn't any any type of mechanical drawing, no computers, no uh, software, you know. And so everything had to be started with a $2 brush and a $3 can of paint. And hopefully you had a million dollar worth of ideas. Ryan has been around the business ever since he was, you know, he's 37, he's been around it his whole life. He's been to the shop, he's watched us, you know, go from hand lettering to uh, the, all the computer stuff. Well, realistically, I didn't have much of a choice. <laughs> I was kind of grown up into it. Um, there was, uh, you know, most spring breaks, you know, uh, we, we didn't take family trips. Most spring breaks were spent uh, taking family trips to the ballpark to work on signage before the season started. I often tell people um, that the thing about working with family, uh, it's, it's one of the hardest things you'll ever do, uh, but at the same time, it's one of the most rewarding things you'll ever do. Uh, and it is, it's nice to be able to uh, pat each other on the back after a good job, uh, and to have somebody to go to battle with you uh, when things don't quite work out. He's very skilled with the computer, more so than I could ever be. Um, and the software, and he understands it, and he can take it uh, to the really the next level. He's a little more chaotic than I am. Uh, very hardworking, you know, uh, very intuitive. Uh, but he's he's an old school artist, uh, and that's what it was. Uh, and and I'm more of a new school, uh, more of the computerized, more of the uh, the machine work, and less of the hand painted. He's a very chaotic. Uh, businessman, but a very successful one at the same time. I don't think there's another person out there like him uh, in, in that sense. Uh, I'm a very systematic person. So again, we'll butt heads at times, but at the same time, we can see both ends of the spectrum. Well, eventually, I mean, you know, I would like to uh, take life a little easier. You know, I would like to just let go of the reins and let more of Ryan just take it to the next level and the next generation. You know, uh, he's got some ideas that he would like to try and I'd love for him to do it. I've got two children of my own that are very creative and I'm very artistic uh, and, uh, you know, tend to have a sense of, of what goes on and, and understand a lot of it just because of their creativity. Uh, so I'm hoping, you know, at some point, uh, now granted it doesn't have to be as young as when I was, uh, but uh, at some point I think, you know, I'll be able to pass that torch uh, the same way that he was able to pass it to me.